First off at 11 o'clock tonight, a community is preparing to fight to save a piece of its history. A familiar and some say infamous company, Electrolux, is looking into tearing down the clock tower in Belding. 24-hour news Mark Thompson spent the evening in Belding. He joins us from the live desk right now with the story. Mark? Yeah, and Sue, take a look. A group of residents is already getting organized. They've started a Facebook page called Save Belding's Clock Tower, and they're getting close to 1,500 supporters, and they're going to need all the support they can get, including financial, if they want to prevent Electrolux from tearing it down. At issue is the clock tower and the 13 or so buildings that make up the old factory facility sitting in the heart of downtown Belding. The tower portion was built back in 1903 by the Belding Brothers Silk Producers, a landmark that has come to symbolize this tight-knit community. When I was young, that was a park. There were beautiful trees in it. There was like a bandstand in it. We had the, we had the big board with all the veterans' names on it. It was just, it was really nice. The current owner, Electrolux, repurchased the facility from a Grand Rapids developer just last week and plans to tear it to the ground. Electrolux officials say the condemned area is unsightly, the structure's dangerous, and a potential liability. But there's a group of citizens who say it's worth saving. It's part of our identity. It's in everything from our letterhead to um, the view we look out the window. The Save Belding's Clock Tower campaign includes a petition, a Facebook page, and a brainstorming session, many tossing around the idea of making the tower a historical landmark, but that takes permission from the owners, Electrolux, and saving or moving the clock tower portion would take money the city doesn't have, and there are unknown environmental issues as well. I think the goal is to keep the historic portion. It's changed hands over the years, but the site served as an Electrolux facility until 1988, producing window air conditioning units. Electrolux, a company less than popular in the area, building just seven short miles from Greenville, a town devastated when Electrolux closed there back in 2006. We had a lot of empty homes because they left town. And if they can't come up with a plan, people here feel Electrolux will tear down their memories as well. And city council members in attendance say that they plan on trying to pass a moratorium at the next council meeting to prevent any immediate demolition. They're also looking into trying to zone that area into a historic district that takes less permission from the current owners, Electrolux. Now, Electrolux says slow down. They haven't made any final decisions on demolition, and they say they're willing to work with the city and the community to try and come up with a solution, and they assure that no demolition will take place until next year at the early. Back to you.